Yo, what's going on everybody? It's Brian with you from the GameCom and we are doing some more Civ 6. We're doing AI battles and yeah, we're starting over. So we had some really bad graphical glitches going on and ultimately what I ended up doing is I ended up like deleting all of my mods except the British Isle mod and we're going to try this again and see how it goes. Um, that's number one. Number two, I was actually thinking about this after I deleted all my mods. I think a couple days ago before we started this last series, I actually... I, I actually updated my video drivers so I'm wondering if maybe that had something to do with it I also as well um, decided that we're gonna play I've been playing with the DirectX uh, 9 or no I've been playing with the DirectX 10 version no 11 version so now we're playing with the 12 version I don't know we're playing with the different DirectX version we're playing Civ 6 so we're gonna see if that works um, one thing to note is you'll notice hey Germany's here what the heck is Germany doing here so I decided to replace the Anglo-Saxons because once again I'm not using any mods because we're just going to try having no mods whatsoever except the island and see if we get the graphic glitch and so we decided to put Germany instead um, and we'll see how it works out we are once again playing as Scotland um, and we're a little further south I think this time um, but we still have quite a bit of area to the north to grow uh, Norway's just south of us and they're actually on the west coast this time um, but they have some decent room to grow as well so hopefully they don't get knocked out instantly as well um, then we have Rome once again over on the east side they have a lot more room to grow because the anglo-saxons aren't there same thing with england um the difference is now they have jerusalem right there which is you know maybe a problem for them we'll see oh england's actually going for a pretty aggressive settle uh and then we still have france down there with the little island to themselves so hopefully this fixes all our graphical glitches uh, once again, I thought it had something to do with the mod, uh, so then I tried, I actually tried recording this episode already, uh, and it just got so bad, it was like every five seconds we were getting another glitch, and so then I was like, you know what, let's try it, uh, without the Anglo-Saxon, so we created the mod, and then it was still happening, so I was like, clearly it's the map, so I was like, let's try it with no mods on on just like the four leaf clover and we were still getting the graphical glitch so that's where i think it maybe has something to do with either my driver or maybe like i said we just need to play with the different DirectX version and we'll just see how this rolls for now so rome is getting close to putting down its second city i think they are a little behind yeah everyone else has two cities germany is kind of in a crap spot right now mostly because they don't have any fresh water so these cities are going to be pretty tiny until they can get up here to the lake um other than that though you know at least they have a pretty well defended area and if they can be a little aggressive over here then um they would have the potential to grow pretty well um but we'll see them in england are, are going to end up butting up against each other for a little bit we do have four city states over in ireland Scotland is actually kind of in an awkward spot too. Yeah, Scotland and Norway, one of these two guys are probably gonna declare a war on each other here pretty early. God, they finished the Hanging Gardens really quickly. Okay, so I feel like the AI is playing a heck of a lot better now that we turned off the AI plus mods. And like I said, we're just trying to do it without any mods right now, just to make sure that there's just no issues happening uh, for us. So my gosh, Rome's gonna get some pretty big cities here, uh, but they're not gonna have a lot of production. They have, what, one, two, three, four freaking wheats, man. Um, and they can build a lumber mill here, which may not be as helpful if this wheat is uh, in Arpinium. Uh, still, they're going to have some pretty large cities. England has thrown down the third settler already. Uh, Germany still only has two, though. Uh, Norway is at three. Scotland is trying to throw down three. So right now, I feel like England might be in first place, and they have pretty decent-sized cities as well. Well, I don't know. I mean, Rome has larger cities, but they just don't have the... Uh, they don't have the empire size quite uh, as yet. Is this a lake or is this a wonder? I can never tell sometimes on some of these. Eh, you gonna tell me or are you just gonna sit there? Crater Lake, so it is a wonder. So it gives you faith in science. And it's right next to Jerusalem, which is faith. So that should be interesting. We'll see if uh, Rome actually goes for a faith build. Uh, I, I don't think they will, but mm, maybe, maybe, maybe. As of now, it doesn't look like anyone's actually doing faith yet. We don't have any, um, yeah, we don't have any uh, religions as of yet. I also don't see a Stonehenge yet. So uh, Norway did get their third city down. Norway declared war on Scotland. Rome declared war on Scotland. I don't know why Rome's declaring war on Scotland. I don't think this Norway war is going to go so well for them, though. They're massively underpowered. They only have three warriors and a slinger. Uh, where Scotland's rolling around with archers. 
So, if anything, I feel like Scotland may take some town from Norway. Usually, though, defenders... AI defenders don't usually take towns, though, from what I've seen. They just try holding on to what they have. So, this might have been okay for um, both of these civs because they'll just fight this meaningless war and nothing will happen. Okay, so Germany is being really aggressive with their settler, and this is going to be bad because they're going to throw them out over there, and then it's just going to immediately city flip. Uh, loyalty flips so yeah i would rather you throw it down like right here maybe for now please instead of like what are also what are you doing you're moving in place he keeps going like he's literally not doing anything he's running in place right now cool man i love the ai in this game sometimes it's just so wonderful whoa my gosh we have four cities down here in france <laughs> so norway and scotland made peace so yeah exactly like i expected we do have three now for uh scotland we have four for Norway, uh, three for Rome, uh, three for England, actually, and then still two for Germany. Uh, but however, they did move their settler. They're actually moving their settler. So after 10 turns of doing absolutely nothing, they're actually moving. So Germany is definitely going to be in fourth place, uh, or sixth place, rather, at this point. I think loyalty with that city is going to be okay, because um, it is far enough from Liverpool. It actually looks like they are getting close to declaring war on England, because they are moving their troops forward. And that actually might be okay for them. Well, I say that, but the AI usually tends to be pretty bad. So, um, maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, they definitely have more troops than England. I just don't know that they're going to be smart enough to take over the city. Um... Scotland, it appears, is actually attacking Valletta. Okay. So, I think that's fine. I think that's a good choice for them. And they should be able to grab it here. Valletta does have quite a bit of troops. Um, but I think they have enough archers maybe to handle this. Ooh, maybe not. Maybe not. Yeah, and this might actually put them uh, behind uh, militarily. So, this actually could be a pretty big hindrance for Scotland. Uh, Norway has rebuilt its army pretty well. Uh Rome right now definitely seems to be higher in tech because uh, they're rolling around with both spearmen and archers. Germany declared war on England. We saw that one coming, and France declared war on England. Well, yeah, there you go. <laughs> I don't think France can do much of anything. Also, what happened to... There they are. They spread out their troops, man. Yeah, I don't think this is going to go too hot for them. They spread out their troops too much, and instead of going for Liverpool, which is probably easy... They once again um, put their troops in a very aggressive spot, and apparently they're going for Jerusalem, which is the suzerain, or which England's suzerain of. So, yeah, that's just not going to go well for Germany at all. So, really, <laughs> I'm noticing a theme. <coughs> Excuse me, there's something in my throat. I'm noticing a theme with our AI series. Usually the ones who do the best are the ones who don't make stupid decisions. Like, hey, declaring war on another civ, you know. Usually the peaceful ones tend to be the best, uh, or tend to do the best. I guess Rome maybe was an exception in the last game, because they were pretty aggressive. But they were actually ex uh, successful in their wars, which is also unusual. Okay, so France is doing um, religion here, because they do have Stonehenge. However, I actually don't see a religion yet, which is a little weird. Um, they also seem to be going heavy in the Wonder game, because they're building two Wonders right now. Uh, is Rome going heavy with Wonders? No. They actually have quite a bit of faith. Yeah, they actually have quite a bit of faith over here. But they don't have a religion. We're on turn 100 yet, and I don't think we have a single religion, which is really, really interesting. So, we're going to go ahead. Germany made peace with England, so that was a worthless war for Germany. Good job. Uh, do we have a religion yet? Yeah, move. So, actually, we do have religions. Interesting. So, why didn't... Why was no one showing up? So, Rome has Eastern Orthodox... Uh, we currently have Skiism, and then two have ca uh, Catholicism and Protestantism. One of these has to be France, because they have Stonehenge. I just don't know why it wasn't showing up. At least, maybe, maybe I just missed it. Maybe I missed it. Uh, okay, so for science, Rome is in first place right now. They're making 15 science per turn, so a little bit better than everyone else. Culture, Rome is also in first at 19. Um, that actually doesn't seem... Like, they're going to stay there. Domination victory, uh, military, 190, 140. So, everyone's pretty even right now. And Rome actually has the uh, highest with the religious victory. They've actually only converted one of six. Okay. And then score. Scotland's actually in first place right now. So, it's Scotland, and then it's England, and uh, France are in second and third. 
and then uh, Frederick is in last like we saw. So pretty much Germany is about the only one that has been knocked out at this point. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry, I'm having issues right now. Like now I can't breathe, like snot in my nose is weird. Okay, so Norway has quite a few troops right now. Uh, 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 okay, Scotland did end up taking Valletta. I don't know if Nor Norway's going to declare war or what they're doing with all their uh, soldiers over there. So we'll have to keep an eye out on them. Down here, Rome is just not as, I guess, as expanding as the last game. Like the last game, they were like all about expanding quickly. They did end up throwing a third city down, so Germany did. So they're starting to unite themselves a little bit. Um, they're also exploring over here with Ireland, as is Norway. So it's going to be interesting to see if Scotland's going to get over here first or potentially Germany. I feel like Germany should probably put another city down over here and then definitely start going to the west coast. They may also want another city here just to kind of keep England where they are. Um, if I was England... Oh, yeah, England's still technically, I think, at war. They actually... Whoa, snap. So London is actually falling to the um, the galleys. Oh, snap. Are they going to be able to take it? No, I don't think they have enough galleys, but this is interesting. France is actually being aggressive positively. So England actually pieced them out. That's unfortunate because I think France actually had a good chance there if they would have brought their troops forward. Uh, so we're at two, four cities for Norway. Five cities. They went way the heck up there. And you're losing loyalty. No, no, your loyalty went flip back. All right, one, two, three, four, five as well for Scotland. Who actually could settle Ireland right now. Scotland finished a wonder as well. They finished the Oracle. Cool. Uh, then uh, one, two, three, four for Germany. One, two, three, four for England. One, two, three, four, five for uh, Rome and five for France as well. So, yeah, now I see the religion. I see that now. And yeah. Yeah, okay, England was the other one. So Norway uh, declared war on Scotland. And this actually is going to be okay for Norway, I think. Scotland's troops are falling a little behind. They, they've extended themselves a little too much. They do have the heavy chariot and a couple archers. So, eh, maybe. It's going to be close. It's going to be close. And actually looking at it, I don't know what happened to Norway's troops. They all died, apparently. So, no. Yeah, this is going to be another one that Norway's going to lose. <laughs> How many wars can they freaking lose? Uh, so, Scotland definitely is the one running away with it. So, that kind of breaks the mold of, hey, this is the civ we're playing as, so they're not going to do as well. France has quite a few ships, which is pretty interesting. And I don't know, was this the case? I didn't pay enough attention last time. Was their um, coast into England from France last time? Or was there ocean in between? Because we didn't see an early war from France last time, which makes me think that this might have been actually uh, ocean tile that they couldn't cross. How is Germany doing? One, two, three, four. They don't have another settler down, so they need to start working on that. They are working on the Colossus or Great Lighthouse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're... Rome. Rome has been really quiet, if we're going to be honest. And it, I think it's because they're going straight religious is what it looks like. <laughs> I think we have a lot of civs actually going pretty heavily into the religious game. England is actually rolling with catapults now. Yeah. They have catapults. They have heavy chariots. And they have uh, spearmen as well, so... They're doing pretty good there. Germany is so weak right now. Oof. 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 And actually, why why do they have... Why is their archer up here? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Norway is starting to get trapped. They don't have a lot of room left to grow because of how aggressively Rome has been settling. And their cities, my gosh. Rome's cities are freaking gigantic now, dude. They, I think they have like... Four of the largest cities. Yeah. Yeah, they really do. So Norway needs to start uh, expanding to the south if they're going to have any chance here. I actually feel like Germany might be declaring war here on Norway in a turn or two. So we'll see about that. One, two, three, four, five, six cities now for Scotland. One, two, three, four only for Norway. Five for Norway. Although they're trying to throw down number six. Germany did finish the Great Lighthouse. Cool. Uh, religious? Religious? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know anyone's really taking the lead in religion. <sighs> France has quite a few troops right now. They have quite a few troops, but, you know, they don't seem to be playing too aggressively. What was that? 
That was an interesting sound. I don't know what that one was. I think that was a great person sound, is what we heard. I'm really intrigued, honestly, in this game by uh, Rome. Because they have so many large cities. They don't have a lot of troops, but they do have a decent amount. Ooh, and Rome is actually going to uh, box in Norway here at this point. Where would they settle? Honestly, they should be settling here. Actually, this spot right here would be your best option. But I think they're going far west. They might be going over here. Which, sure, I suppose that's possible. Over here in Ireland is still just city-states. Yeah, they're going over there to the west. Germany, they have another settler. So one, two, three, four. Uh, they're trying to throw down their fifth city. Where other people are working on their seventh city at this point. So one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, they still only have five. One, two, three, four, five, six. But they don't have another settler. So they're kind of sticking on six for the minute. No, they're actually coming south. Okay, they did get Trier up there. Which does limit Rome quite a bit. One, two, three, four. You actually can't settle there now. That sucks. So I would go up here then. Yeah. And I would buy and get this tile. <laughs> uh, definitely buy and grab that tile. I don't know. I mean, they, they seem to be going back and forth a little. So we'll see. We'll see what they end up doing. England. England's at four cities still. I don't know what happened to them. They're trying to get fifth, but they're almost completely blocked in now. France, once again, is blocked in like they normally are. Um, we kind of expect that with France, though. Uh, but they are still going heavy on the wonder game. So they have a good chance of winning if they keep going straight wonders. Although eventually they're going to run out of tiles to build their wonders on. So we'll see. One, two, three, four, five, six. They're about to throw down number seven with Scotland. And they're going north. England did not put their city down. No, they're crossing. <gasps> it, wow. Okay, so Rome is the first to go to Ireland, it appears. Interesting. Can they actually put a city here? One, two, three. It doesn't look like it. So they're going to have to go further over there. Germany declared war on Scotland. Norway declared war on Scotland. Pretty sure both of those is going to be uh, a probably a score-based war. Norway does have some troops. They have their Viking longships. Um, Scotland doesn't have a lot of troops. But, I mean, Norway has a lot less troops. So I don't see them actually being able to win that. Rome finished a wonder. Uh, the temple. Mahabodhi. How do you say that? Mahabodhi temple. Uh, which ones are France working on right now? They're working on the temple. No, that's the Kotoku in. Kotoku. And then... I guess the other one maybe was the temple that they're working on? I don't see it. They did finish the Temple of Artemis, so maybe that was it. And they're about to finish the Colossus as well. So let's put a quick pause, and let's see where everyone scores at at this point. Uh, okay, so Trajan's actually winning. I'm actually kind of surprised about that. Why? Empire is almost equal. Okay, okay. Wonders is less. Era score is a lot more. So they've just been getting a lot more error score, it seems like. As for overall victory, uh, Harold is actually leading in science. 21... And they're even. They're all pretty even. They are making a little bit more science per turn. Culture would be France at this point, which makes sense. They have a few tourists, but not enough to make a difference. Domination is actually France as well. 276 then. Everyone else is pretty even. And then religious. Religion is still uh, pretty even, so no one's got that. So let's go advance a few more turns, and we'll see what happens. So I'm surprised that uh, 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 Rome is actually in first place. I think a lot of it probably has to do with those monuments. Being able to instantly get those monuments just allows their territory to expand so much. Um, which means that our Rome playthrough kind of sucked because we're playing a TSL map. So we really didn't get the true benefit of Rome of uh, being able to uh, eat up a lot of territory pretty quickly. Simply because, you know, we were a little limited on our islands. France finished another wonder. Uh, Jer uh, Rome is now over on the west coast. Or on Ireland, rather, to the West Coast. Scotland made peace with Norway. Yeah, we, we didn't see that one happening. So how many times have they been at war with each other at this point? France declare, or finished another wonder. So they finished the Colossus. What was the other one that they ended up finishing? Uh, it looks like this one. Yeah, the, Ko, uh, the Kotoku. And then what do you have over here? That's just a lighthouse. Okay, that wasn't the great lighthouse because we saw that already in Germany. So England is definitely falling behind right now. They do have uh, Ironclad at this point, which we learned in our last AI series 
is probably because of a great admiral. They seem to be going heavy in religion. Yeah. The funny thing is, everyone else is going heavy in religion, so I feel like no one's actually doing too well in re the religious playthrough because everyone's going so heavy in it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cities now uh, for Scotland. One, two, three, four, five, six for Rome, who also just finished a wonder. The temple? I think we already saw that one. What wonder? Oh, the Petra. Gotcha. Which actually is not a bad location. Oh, that's the Jebel. Never mind. They actually built the Petra over here. Which, sure, that's not a terrible spot for the Petra either. Yeah, okay. That works. That works. Now, is there actually desert tile in England? Somehow, I would actually really doubt that there's actually desert in England, but I, I don't know enough. I don't know enough about England. Uh, then, uh, France. One, two, three, four cities. That's it. Or, sorry, Germany. Four cities. Uh, and they are appearing to try taking the Bander. I don't know if they're going to be able to grab it, though, because they actually have walls already. And they have nothing. Well, they do have a battering ram. I just, it doesn't look like they're going to have enough. I don't know. They did just pop out a catapult. We'll see. We'll see. Actually, ooh, England is declaring war on Germany now. Yep, 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 yep. So there goes. So there's no way they can actually take the Bandar now. Because they're going to have to come fight England. And England it does have swordsmen, which is a bit scary for Germany. I don't think Germany is going to be completely wiped out, but I do think that they're probably going to lose Magdeburg. Although Magdeburg is pretty defensive. Yeah, it actually is pretty defensive. There's only a couple locations into the city. France is going heavy in religion, it looks like, because they have a couple apostles up there. Look at all the units they have. Okay. All right, well, we're going to wrap this episode up here. Let's take a quick look at the score before we call it an episode. So as for actual score victory right now, uh, Shrajan is still in first place. Uh, France is pretty close behind, which is surprising because of how limited their empire is, but purely based, I think, on culture. They're at six right now, six of 45. So their culture is really, really good. So it's kind of a reverse of the last game where France is now the new Rome, where they're going really heavy in culture. But despite that, Rome is still in first place. Scotland is uh, has fallen to third place. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Even though they have the most cities. But I think what's happening is you can see, like, Valletta here is not growing. You have Roxenburg not growing. You have Edinburgh up here at two, uh, with a two. And then Dumfries is only at three population. So they actually have very small population because they have such crappy land up here with the tundra. So I think that's why they're falling behind. Where Traja, on the other hand, has a lot of really juicy land. I, I really think Scotland needs to get over here to Ireland before it gets too late. Germany is also now in Ireland as well, so there you go. So I hope you guys are enjoying this. Um, sorry we had to remake it, but it definitely seems that right now things are going much, much better. Uh, we definitely, ha we didn't have any, didn't have to restart, so that's always a bonus. So anyways, hope you guys are enjoying it. If you are, drop a like, comment, let me know what you think. As always, hit the subscribe button, join the game, comment, show your support. I'll see you guys later. Bye.